Hello there, NJRoot22.com here with a, a Monday video. Uh, it's a little bit of a um, experiment and it's also a little bit of a tech talk, helpful hint type situation. I gotta put my coat on because I'm in the garage, even though it looks like I'm on a tropical island or in a computer room or whatever, wherever the hell I'm gonna put behind me here. I'm also experimenting with this uh, with a green screen and some new lighting here. Uh, I just, uh, I like doing this, so if you, if you guys can stay with me here, maybe we'll learn something to get. And besides my new lights set up here and a little bit of fancy uh, camera work, I mean, people have been doing this for years. For me, it's new, so it's exciting and fun. Uh, and that's, that's what life is all about. But I'm gonna talk today really quickly about technology. Um, I wanna give you a little background. I was always ahead of the curve, always. I was the first one with a CD player, for instance. I mean, I, I think I had a Techniques uh, SLP 230 or something, I don't know. I, I rode my bike in the rain like 10 miles when I was a teenager at night with no helmet. I, th I, I went to the Paramus Park, uh, Bergen Mall, some my Sam Goody, Sam Ash, I forget. Sam Goody was the store. Uh, I bought this CD player and I, I bought the floor model and I carried it home in a freaking Glad bag under my arm riding a 10 speed bike in the pouring rain to bring this technology home. I mean, this was in the 80s and uh, I think I was one of the first people uh, that had a CD player. Oh God, it was so great. And throughout the years uh, when things were sort of out of touch or, or people weren't in tune with technology, there was no internet. Um, you had magazines, you had uh, word of mouth. Technology was fun back then. It was something really new and different and unique. Uh, these days, technology is omnipresent, I guess you could say. Everybody has technology. Everything is an app. Everything is fast and dandy and I, I don't know. I was one of the first ones with a, with a uh, cell phone. I worked for Radio Shack. I had one of those big ass um, brick phones. It literally weighed like four pounds. I, I can't remember uh, exactly, but it had this long antenna. It was like longer than the straw on my drink. It was like, it was like, it was literally like using my drink as a cell phone. Look at it. I mean, it's a green straw. You're not gonna be able to see it. But let's just say I was on the on the phone. Hello. I mean, it was really that heavy. And this is a 32 ounce drink. So this is um, two two pounds plus the glass. Man, my drinks are good. And I thought I was the coolest thing, but what was I doing on this phone? I wasn't saving people's lives. I wasn't like 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 an emergency person that needed to be in touch with everybody at all times. I guess I talked on the phone because I had a phone that I could talk to people on when I'm in the middle of freaking nowhere and nobody gives a crap where I am. It was just interesting. I thought it was cool to get a call when no one else had a phone to get a call somewhere. Oh, hello, hey, what's up, man? Yo. It's like that Bud, Budweiser goes, ah, I, I don't know. Pointless when you think about it, in retrospect. And then I kept getting newer phones, and like, I, I always had the latest. I, had, I remember I had this one cell phone when I was, I guess it was uh, right after 9-11 in the city, uh, 2001. I think it was, uh, I believe it was November 2001. I went to this place in Manhattan and I bought a cell phone I could wear around my neck. It was literally the size of a Zippo lighter. Panasonic made it. It was the most ridiculous thing ever. Always, I, I've got, I've probably had 20 cell phones in my life. And that's probably nothing compared to the people in the last 10 years. Some people upgrade their phones t twice a year because they have to have the latest. And this is my whole point. For the last, I don't know, five to 10 years or so, I've been a Blackberry fan. I always like, this is before it, it kind of settled into two main uh, players, uh, Apple and Android. Um, and for a while, and I guess they still have a Windows phone, but that's really crap. And Nokia had their own thing. I was always a Blackberry guy. I remember when they first had the Blackberry pagers. The things just worked. They always worked. 
and then the Blackberry phones and the keyboard and I guess I had more friends and I, I had to do more things for work in terms of uh, instant communications um, but the Blackberry keyboard was always a nice thing to have um, and it, it just seemed to work it had some sort of intuitiveness that uh, the, those I9 or whatever those things that where you could type and you have to hit the letter three times to type one letter and hit the key three times you know just over the past few years and I remember trying the droid system the Android system and it never really worked and it's still not up to par I guess uh, with the Apple ecosystem but I, I'm not an Apple fan because I hate that they have proprietary chargers and wires and, and, and you can't put memory cards in Apple uh, products to me I, I just think there's something really sick about them but let me let me cut to the chase here I've been a Blackberry person for a long time and I still sort of am um, up until just uh, th this year I, I've been a Blackberry guy on uh, when they had this Blackberry 10 operating system and then they finally embraced the Android ecosystem, but uh, I'll give you an example. I got this phone last year. It's a BlackBerry DTEC, um, a DTEC 50. It's it's uh, this was you know three or four hundred dollars when it was new. I paid on like fifty bucks on eBay. I got a brand new one, um, and it, it just it just works. Uh, but this little DTEC 50 here here, I have eBay on the screen here. I don't know if you can see that. Probably not. But I had uh, this phone, let me, let me rewind here, I had a Priv, this Priv, it had a slide out keyboard and I thought that was the greatest thing, I never used a keyboard. I was always a keyboard fan because I hated typing on the screen, I just didn't like typing on the screen, but when Blackberry introduced their, their keyboard, something about their keyboard uh, app, or whatever you want to call it. It just seems to work, and it just predicts your words, and you slide up to, to finish the word, and, and you know you can type pretty quickly on it. Um, so I, I finally embraced the BlackBerry on Android. The reason I like it is because at the root level, and this is geek talk, the root level it's protected at the hardware level. So the BlackBerry phones, when they say they're the safest phones uh, or you know most well protected phones. On the market, they are it, better than San I wouldn't trust any other company uh, if I had a hundred percent requirement for for safety. Uh, but this DTEC 50, I love it. It's light as as anything. It's thin. It's small. Um, but the camera left a lot to be desired. And I, and, and I do a lot of uh, pictures for for this this blog uh, with the camera. And the, it, something about it, it, it just it had, didn't have enough memory and. I kind of cheaped out on this DTEC 50, so I said, let me get, I asked my uh, family for a, uh, a DTEC 60 for Christmas, which I got, and that that's uh, that was like two or three hundred dollars, two fifty, right, and it was like a seven hundred dollar phone, new. But at the same time, I discovered an LG phone, this, this is what's great, I have an LG um, V20 Less than two years ago, this was like $800. I got it for like $70 on, on eBay. And this phone is great. Um, it doesn't have the hardware root protection that, um, that the BlackBerry models have. But it has a couple things, and I'm using uh, Mint Mobile, by the way. Uh, Mint Mobile, I pay $180 a year for cell service. That's $15 a month. Um, and this, the, this works on the, on the Mint Mobile network. But there was two things that made me finally switch out of the BlackBerry system. And I'm, I'm kind of like torn about this because this, uh, I have, uh, pretend this is a D60, uh, the, the DTEC 60, sorry. The DTEC 60 and this uh, LG V20 are the same Snapdragon processor. I forget what it is, 825 or whatever. And they're essentially the same, but the uh, BlackBerry just is faster. It's just a faster. The screen is is, is rich. It's a really nice screen. Uh, but the reason I, I, I went with this V20 um, was because of this camera. The camera is, uh, and, and I think a lot of models out there these days have dual cameras, but it, it's a wide angle.
camera. And I've always been a wide angle guy. In fact, I'm shooting this video on a wide angle, a, a uh, Panasonic uh, a wide angle. And it's at the zoomed in, it's like 28 millimeters now. It goes up to 14 millimeters, which is really wide. And you can just capture more of the scene. You can, I, I'm a big scene type guy and angles. Um, this camera is just is phenomenal. I mean, for taking certain shots for a stylistic type photographer like myself, you like to get uh, a wide angle. I mean, it does have a little fisheye effect, whereas this one does not, the, the camera I'm using. But then the second thing that I profoundly found, you know, useful was the fact, now it's not working, what the hell? Anyway, the fact that this, the BlackBerry phones did not, were unable to, to work, make calls over Wi-Fi. Not every model phone does, and when you only have like a, a few minutes of um, whatever, I have unlimited, but I could never use any phone where we live. We have no cell service, so having a phone where you can, um, where you can, uh, use your cell phone over Wi-Fi is a kind of a big deal. Because if you're out and about and you need to make a lot of calls, um, you don't use up your data plan. Um, I have to reboot my phone here, and that's hilarious, isn't it? Uh, this is ridiculous. This, this phone just kind of locked up. I mean, so funny that uh, that I have to. Uh, to use voice care, read and agree to the legal documents. I don't want voice care. This is hilarious. Like this phone has been working flawlessly. Um, it's all locked up now. I have no idea why. I didn't drop it or anything. Um, so I probably got hacked. Suppose if you hold the power button down long enough, it'll. Uh... You know, the funny thing is, the good thing about this black, this uh, LG B20, is that you can open up the case. It has a nice metal back. I hate uh, doing this. To use voice care. Red I don't want voice care. This is effed up. See you later, battery. Reboot. Anyway. It's a really well-made phone, and, and let me get to the point here. The point of my whole situation is never buy a new phone. Get Condition yourself to never need a new cell phone because you, you pay $1,000. Like the new uh, Apple phones are $1,000. All the latest Samsung phones are like $900. And, and that's not including like the requirement for a two-year plan and penalties if you cancel. If you want to unlock phones, sometimes you're paying $1,200 for it. Like I said, I got this V20, which was the greatest thing ever. It was the flagship best phone in, in 2017. And now it's, it's 2019 and it's seventy dollars on eBay. I mean, I, it's. The, I think the going price is more like one hundred and fifty. I just scored a good deal. The guy said it was like uh, in. Uh, they rated A, B, C, D. Uh, it was in C condition. It's brand new. It doesn't have a thing wrong with it. Um, I, I love it. And, and you can install most of the BlackBerry apps, by the way. The BlackBerry apps. Um, are good like they have this email called the hub where you get all your messages text messages social media if you want and like 10 email addresses all in one uh, one little inbox and they're all color coded and you can tell which is which and you can sort i'm never ever going to buy a new piece of technology at least cell phones maybe a digital camera maybe uh, if it's groundbreaking but when it comes to these uh, these phones, paying a thousand bucks every year, for instance, for a new phone, only to have to just go through the whole thing and load everything and copy. It. I mean, I can understand why some people do 
upgrade their phones if they get busted up. Because I see these people, I mean, they, most people live off their cell phones and, and it's just their whole life. Everything about, it. they order pizza, they get food delivery, they buy stocks, they look for a job. They, I mean, they do everything on their cell phone. They drop it constantly and, they, and I've seen people's cell phones, it looks like, like stained glass. I mean, there's so many uh, cracks on it. I use my phone very little, very little, uh, to get uh, harassing calls from my uh, my significant other, um, some fo personal photos which we never share online, uh, and I, I'll take some pictures. Uh, if you look at the uh, Phillipsburg Mall post, I think it's going up tomorrow. Those pictures were all taken with this new phone that I paid seventy dollars for, and it works great except for that last fiasco I had. Um, I think that if, if more people started saying, I don't need this latest and greatest thing, and like what, what psychological triggers do, do these companies have on you that you need to get this latest, greatest thing? I know, for instance, this V20 that I have is, um, it, I, I like the way it works. I mean, it, the Wi-Fi makes cell phone coverage pretty much irrelevant. Um, I mean, like, you know, it, it just, it, the V30, I, I want to give a little tech note here, V30 and above for T-Mobile and V40 and G5 and G6 have something called Band 71. It's, it's a new cell band that I think T-Mobile spent like $8 billion on to help phones get better reception in rural areas. And out in western Jersey, for instance, the, the cell phone coverage is, is much worse than on the east side of the coast near the big cities or towards Philly or, or what have you. But you, you head up into the hills of uh, New Jersey and you know, cell service is, is not always great. Uh, I mean, I guess Verizon's better and then iPhones are better, but T-Mobile just launched this new Band 71 or recently launched and it, um, the newer models. The only reason I would ever upgrade this V20 if I don't smash it is to get a V30. And it's selling for like 250 right now. I'm not buying a phone for 250. I'll deal with it. Um, next year, this time, you know, January 2020, it might be 50 bucks. And then I'll, I, if, if this phone needs help, I will, I will consider it if I have some extra pocket change. So that's the whole thing. If you can just condition yourself to not want or need the latest and greatest just because someone has it and they're touting how great it is, and sure, some features may be better, the camera may be better, the, um, the capacity may be better, it may be faster, it can run some apps better than others. I, I don't know. I, I, I just don't see the true need for, I'm rubbing my hands again because they're ice pops. I was gonna wear gloves. I brought gloves. They're not really warm gloves, they're just like work gloves. But I, I mean, I can wear these things. I think I have poison ivy in because I was, I think I was landscaping with these and I got poison ivy one year and uh, I think it's still in there. Oh well. It's kind of, uh, maybe I can set a new trend of having a poison ivy in the winter. No one has poison ivy in the winter. But anyway, I think it's a healthy thing to do to wait because not only can you get the benefits of, of still new technology, um, but you don't have to pay a premium for it. And the same goes for buying a, a new car versus a used car. I highly recommend you don't ever buy a new car. Uh, unless you're a collector and you plan to not put any miles on and you, and you have 10 brand new cars. Um, a pre-owned car, it makes so much more sense. It can be 40% less a lot of times for a two-year-old car with 30,000 miles on it. I mean, sure, yeah, the, the new car feel is, is not there, but I, I can go on and on. There's a lot of things and there's some instances where it's not worth it, like a washing machine or, or, I mean, think about it, most homes people move into are, are used. I don't know, I hope this works out. That's it for, for this video. Buy used.
Go on eBay, you can find some really good deals.